Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 38 in chapter 3. This is still the project motion. But there, the initial velocity is just with an angle 45 degree. So we can see, uh, it tells us uh, this is the initial position, right? Because it tells us the ball was hit when it was 1 meter above the ground, which was ground at a reference point. So this position, initial position is 1.0 meter. And then the initial velocity is uh, 27 meter per second with the angle theta. There we can see, we can project the velocity in x component and y component. We always do that initial, right? And uh, v o y. And then it tells us uh, this for this baseball, it lands on the roof of a building. 16 meters tall. So this one, so we can say project motion, it moves, 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 and then hit the ground. Normally it should move in this way, right? And now it land on a building. See, we say wind land, so we can consider. Wind land is a building, that means the building must be there. Right? Because this is this position we can consider is just as 13 meter 13 meter because at the first we can consider uh if it, if if this uh, boy is landed there is impossible because this uh, boy still goes up so it may not land there we can land on the top of the building that means the this boy must uh, moves down so we can consider this is a position right now the problem will ask you to find uh, the horizontal distance. So for a horizontal distance is x. But for this x, we can see, uh, for because window for project motion, the velocity at the horizontal is constant. So it should equal to v o x times t. Agree? Yes. And this one is very easy to get. This one is just uh, v naught times cosine theta. See? Because we project this vector on the x component. The most important thing is we need to find the t, the time taking. And we consider the y component. So we can see on the y component, you know the initial position. And you know the final position. You also know the acceleration. And you know the initial velocity at the y component. Can you get the time t? Yes. Super easy. We consider this equation. And when we consider this equation, we can see the one the initial velocity at the y component v y naught is v naught times sine theta and then so this one can be get right and acceleration is get is a negative g and the, this one is one meter is given and the final position is 13 meter so we can solve this equation to get the time t you can see there we have two choice of the time t and which one to choose uh, this is very easy to understand because look at this picture at the first time it goes up and then it goes down. So we choose the second time because this is a T1, this is T2. So so this one is a 0 0.788. So this one, this is smaller time, this is like T2 is this one. Because when it lands on the top of a building, it must move down, move down, right? So this one, so we choose this time T. Now you can see we get the time T and we get the initial velocity at X component, V naught cosine theta. And then we just uh, get the product for this Vx and, t and time t. We are done. Thank you.